Hey, Facebook. Ooh, it's chilly today. That was surprising. I didn't expect it to be so chilly. Hey, everybody. I know I'm doing a little earlier of a live today. Uh, I just wanted to... Uh, you know, I, was, I had to finish some classes early, so I had the chance, so I wanted to knock it out. Hey, Jazz. Jazz probably somewhere around here on her walk. Um, and if you have a chance to watch this now, I appreciate it. If you have a chance to watch this later, I also appreciate it. And I want to give a quick shout out to Simply Jazz's uh, Crescent Moon Reefs. She has available on sale now, uh, custom made. Um, and right now they're only 25 bucks before she raises the prices. Uh, I think she's going to start an Etsy store soon. So yeah, if you're interested in a Crescent Moon Reef, she uh, sold several last week. Um, if, you're in, if you are interested in a reef, please give Simply Jazz Art a shout out uh, or give me a shout out and I'll link you two together. Um, oof. I'm using some new toothpaste. I don't know if it's the light, but making me look yellow. Anyway, <laughs> um, great. So I wanted to talk to you guys since it's a beautiful day outside, a little chilly. I was going to do a quick live right outside my house. Um, is what to do after you make a mistake or after you felt like you may have procrastinated some things or you didn't you weren't on point on certain things or you expected something to happen and something didn't happen or maybe you lost a job and you're like man you know I knew I should have I should have got that one license or man you know maybe I maybe I should have been nicer to the, my coworkers or your business shut down and you're like man maybe if we saved more money or you know it, it, when you start looking in the retrospect in the past we start beating yourself, beating ourselves up. And if you're like me, you know, I, I, I had the habit of beating myself up. I mean, I was a straight boxing match. I would bring myself into the ring and I just start going, working the body. Like, man, Rich, you messed up. Man, you should have done better. Like, how did you not think of that? Like, man, like, what were you thinking? Like, how did you wait so long? Why did you wait so long? And I used to beat myself up for all the little mistakes I've made in my life until I realized that Beating myself up was not going to accomplish anything. Beating myself up was not going to move me forward. And the only thing that would is going onward. And I was watching a Disney movie. I don't know if you checked this out. It came out a little bit ago called Onward. And I was watching this movie and it was very inspiring to me that, you know, the one brother that, you know, everyone kind of deemed a loser or just deemed had no qualities, wasn't going anywhere. His always his attitude was onward. No matter where something was happening, the little brother would get all up in arms and he would be complaining like, man, we messed up, or we didn't do this right, and you know, I, I wish you didn't do this. But the other brother kept just saying, you know what? How are we gonna move forward? How are we gonna go onward? And, sorry, there's little, some sirens going on. For my gems, you know, the sirens go off when I gem, I gem drop. <laughs> but, um, what I thought was so great, especially at the end. Sorry, there's some, still some sirens going on. I apologize. What I thought was at the end of the story was so good is they finally reached the end of the map and they didn't see anything. And the younger brother got even more frustrated. He's like, man, I followed you this whole way and you, know, you, you, you messed us up. You weren't going the wrong way. And I told you we should have gone left and you wanted to go right. You know, you messed up and he was very upset. But the older brother kept saying, all right, no, I know it's here. I, I know I studied this long enough. I know I put in the work long enough. I know I've, I've, I've taken the strive. I've made the habits. I, I know I put in the work. It has to be here. And while everyone's saying he's crazy, he, I, I believe it in my heart of hearts that it's here. And we're going to move onward. I'm not going to retreat now. It's too, we, we got too far to retreat. So we have to move onward. And I thought that was so inspiring that even though nobody believed him, he said, we move forward. And imagine if we did this in our lives, whenever we made a mistake, whenever we messed up, whenever we didn't do the things that we said we were going to do and we didn't execute the way we thought we were going to execute and, you know, things just didn't work out the way we, we planned and it was on us. We made the mistake. We had to admit it. Like, it was on me. I, I, I did it. What do we do afterwards? We move onward. We don't let anything stop us we don't let our mistakes be the end but we move onward and we move onward and even when they're about to get trapped he put his uh 
car into drive and say we're moving forward. Even after make the sacrifices, we're moving forward. Even after to be the blame, we're moving forward. Even after to be the butt of everyone's jokes, we're moving forward. And no matter what we do, we move forward. And if we all have that attitude, no matter what happens, we continuously move forward. It will change our lives because we won't ever stop. Stopping is never an option. The universe always moves forward. The galaxy always moves forward. Life always moves forward. When there's a death, there's always a rebirth. Everything always moves forward. So I think for us, for us to reach our goals, our dreams, is to no matter what mistakes we've made, no matter what hardship we put on ourselves that we did to others, no matter whatever happens, we say onward and we move forward. This is Rich Fontaine. Um, with successful conversations, either you could agree with me or not agree with me. Either way, I feel this was a successful conversation. And also, check out Jazz's Reefs, available now on uh, not any website, just DM her or DM me, and we'll see how we can get those to you. Hey, I appreciate it. Love is love. Namaste.